Hi everyone, welcome to my kitchen and let me talk to you about food. Let me talk to you about why food is medicine and why it should never be the opposite and why it is when we're eating the crap that we are brought up to believe is actually good food for us. Welcome to my channel. My name is Hilda Larson. I'm a, I'm a health and mindset coach. I'm a detox specialist. I'm a speaker. I'm an author of three books from Hell to Inspired, Know the Truth and Get Healthy, and No More Bullshit. And most of all, I'm a life enthusiast, and that's why I'm here. I want to spread my enthusiasm towards life, nature, raw food, healing fruits, health, and your empowerment. Because you're the one that can really change everything about your health and life. So let's get down to it. Let's talk about food. Let's get real. Let's get back to the food is medicine thing. Because when I go to the raw, when I go to the natural, when I go to nature, when I step away from everything that is not that, I can actually call it medicine. And this is what I want to talk to you about. This is how genius nature is. But first of all, let's talk a little bit about what's not and why. Because you might be like me, coming from a place of more stagnancy. You know, when you grow up on dairy, meat, eggs, gluten, things are getting processed, you know, and thinking about the young people growing up today even more so. I mean, at least when I was little, a lot was organic. Now everything is GMO, packaged, dried, added this, added that. I'm sure our grandmothers can't even pronounce or wouldn't even know what half the ingredient list is. So the thing is this, the world we're living in today, we are surrounded by non-foods. And if you're anything like I was, you're going to the store and you're buying food and you're preparing what your parents prepared for you and the grandparents for them. And then the same belief system is gonna follow you. But the thing is, you're getting sicker and sicker. I was so sick I couldn't, I couldn't live, to be honest. I wouldn't live. I mean, I wouldn't wish it on anyone. But a lot of people go that route. You know what it's called? The big word? Autoimmune, meaning chronic, meaning you can never get healthy, meaning come get the pill. Let's keep the symptoms under control. Let's suppress everything. Now, this is the opposite. This is transitioning not to raw. This is transitioning to health. This is transitioning to life that I'm showing you right here. Because yes, People come to me and they're, the diet, let's change the diet. Let's see what we can do with the food. And Hilda, are you telling us all we have to do is change what we eat? I'm like, no, not really. There is a lot you will have to change if you really want to go from having all that pain and suffering to feeling amazing. But you have to start in the beginning. And that's always stopping what's hurting us. The thing is this, if you're putting any milk into your body, and I'm talking about animal milks, it is literally clogging your system. It is highly acidic, high in growth hormones, high in antibiotics and other drugs, high in mucus and bacteria. It is detrimental to your flow. It is detrimental to your health. Now, if you add gluten, glue, which is literally gluing itself to the insides of your intestines, you know what that means? It means whatever else good you eat, you're not eating it. Your cells are not getting the benefits from it. Why? Because it can't reach you. Because you're clogging up the small villi in the small intestines that are absorbing your nutrients. So look at them all glued up. They're all plastered. Every time you eat a piece of bread, plastering this all over. This is just a small part of it. But I always say you need to leave the three largest offenders first if you were going to transition to health. And that is the gluten. Number one. Number two. The dairy. And yes, I know, there are even opium compounds, or whatever term you want to use. Cheese 
is addictive. So if you're one of those cheese addicts that I used to be, I mean, ooh, you know, oh my God. It, it's like, it's worse than anything to leave, right? But it's all, it's all false. It's all an addiction. Now, I don't believe that everyone should just jump to eating off fruits. But I want to tell you about the benefits. I want to tell you about what will happen to your body when you go from eating gluten, from eating dairy, and then ultimately leaving that animal kingdom, stepping up to whole foods, leaving the cooked. And did you know that even from eating cooked food, your body will raise the white cell blood count in your body? That tells me that your body's actually looking at the cooked food as a foreign invader. Now that's interesting. Could that be why every time we really fill ourselves, we feel like we have to lay down and we feel bloated, or at least we feel a little tired. The body's working really hard, but you have, you know, yeah, you have, you have to experience what's going to happen when you eat whole, raw, living foods. That's not going to happen. Why? Because you're fueling yourself. You're not numbing yourself. Whole other topic that I talk about is the emotional aspects of eating and the emotional aspects of food. So for another video, now to the raw food. The thing is this, the medicine. Why is food medicine? So if I took this, this is a grapefruit. If I took this grapefruit and I looked at it and besides having, you know, amazing colors, which are the antioxidants, which are what is going to protect you from free radicals. What is going to, look at it this way, every time you're burning fuel, you know, and your cells get hurt, it ox there's oxidation also going on. So, so a lot of free radicals is running around. Now, antioxidants will neutralize those, will keep your cells healthy, to put it really simple. And the, high, the, the stronger the color in anything, the higher the antioxidants. That's why the berries are so gold. I mean, look at the colors, the dark, dark, the darker blue, the better. The darker purple, the red, this, the orange, the, the, it, the better, the more color, the better. So that's for one thing. Now we're just talking about that. Now, you can look at the vitamins, the minerals, the lipids, but it's all about the energetics. And the thing is this, there is nothing about this that's going to hurt you. There's nothing about this that's going to hurt you. See, this is all benefits. And that's the difference, really. If you want to look at the food, food side, not look at what the body will be able to do on top of it. But that's why Hippocrates said, let food be thy medicine, medicine thy food, didn't mean that, you know, just eat apples and it will cure your gallstones or it will heal your kidneys because it does have those properties, but it has a lot of nutrients you can live on if on it and you can see only benefits. That's the meaning behind it. You can go to the Clementines, which I live on and thrive on right now because it's season for them. And all that they're going to do is to give you the vibration of sunshine, give you that high water rich, distilled, highly more beneficial than any drinking H2O drinking water could ever do. These are all bioavailable vitamins and minerals. And yes, fruits do have minerals too. Not only vegetables. Fruits and vegetables together are amazing. But you have to realize, the further you walk away from the broccoli and the cauliflower, and the more you look towards the higher frequencies, the more vibrational fruits like the mangoes and the oranges, if you go to the berries and the melons, there's going to be a highly different within your body, and this is why. You're now feeding your body what it is most designed to eat, and that's a big clue. People can argue here and there. I don't care. It's all you. Try it. Try it for yourself, and try it knowing what you're doing. It doesn't mean that you can do it wrong, so there's not like, oh, you did it wrong. No, not really. It's the body that gets the opportunity to show you the shape that it's in. And it's going to take time to go through that change. So if you're new to this lifestyle of even thinking, how can food change my life? How can what I eat be so magnificent when it comes to my whole 
outlook on life, my whole creation and my health. This is why. It is the building block of the whole you. Not only because of what it takes, you know, what it brings you. But only also because it's what you're designed to eat. So it's not going to obstruct you. It's not going to stand in the way. So you see, we're getting sick because of what's standing in the way. Not necessarily that the cooked vegetables are hurting you, but they're not allowing your body to deeply cleanse and regenerate either because you're not bringing in the vibe and you're still bringing in something that it has a reaction to. Do you know what I'm getting at? It's simple, but it's hard to grasp, especially since we're so attached to the food. But when you look at food as medicine, don't look at it as something that's going to heal you in the sense that you can't pick one and then it's gonna to go towards one ailment. That's the medical thinking. That's thinking about that type of medicine because they made a pill. That's like saying, okay, so an orange for a headache, this for a stomach ache, take four of these for diabetes. No, because really there are no diseases either, you see. There are only you. I don't care what the label is, there's only you. So what are you? How are you feeling? That's how I work with my clients. We go through everything. I check the health situation extensively. I read the eyes, I'm an iridologist. We go through you. That's why I say autoimmune, go away. You don't exist. It's a hoax, it's a label, it's a bucket, it's a box. It's a mindset and a restrictive one. Why? Because you're t it's telling you, this is your life, this is where you have to stay. And it's not true. So, I want to inspire you to go to my website and click up when it says, start here. That's number one. Go through and see where you can start your journey for doing better. Ask yourself, what do I want? Do I want to feel amazing? Do I want to be able to run in the mountains? Do I want to be able to travel? Do I want to be able to play with my kids? Do I want to be able to do what I love, do my business, dance? It's all there. But the thing is, what can you do to get there? And how can you start right now? Except for that, go to my membership site. Membership. On, on my website again, inspiredbyhilda.com. Membership. Look at what they can give you. I mean, there are so many tools out there. You don't have to wait for anything anymore. This is the <laughs> glory of the internet, you know? We can all just go and do this together. And we really are in this together. Because I've seen the suffering. And I see the suffering every day. And it's no fun. So if you want to really see change, get on my 30-day fruit reset program. 30-day fruit reset. Now think about it. Can you do 30 days to feel all the difference that I'm talking about? Can you do 30 days for me just to check it out and see, you know, how does it work that she's talking, you know, what she's talking about? I bet you can. So if you can get inspired to do that, I know that you can do anything. And remember, the food is never about what you're putting in as much as it is about what you're not putting in and what you are allowing your body to do. Because it's a self-healing mechanism. It will step up, it will clean the crap out of you, and it will regenerate. For real, this is the truth. Labels are only labels. Health is health. And the body is trying very hard, working very hard, every single minute of the day and night to get there. And my body did something nobody thought it could do. Like, ever. Lines, rheumatoid arthritis, severe ulcers, anxiety, so depressed by medication, so sick, in and out of the hospitals, checked for the heart, checked for MS, thought I had MS for years, or what they labeled it, told Hilda for life, 
will disable you and give you disability for life. Will help you rebuild your house to aid your disabilities. Your impaired mobility. And I know a lot of people believe that that is a true statement, and it's not. So, start with the fruits, adding more. Where do you start for, like, for, from a very simple standpoint? I'm going to give you this. Where do I start from a very simple standpoint? So, I'm going to give you so general that it doesn't matter where you're at right now. I don't care if you're living on pizza, beer, and cigarettes. Or if you're on a fairly okay diet, which you think might be chicken salads, diet coke for less calories, and only red wine on the weekends. You know, we have all so many different levels of this. But the thing is, we're still hurting our body until we stop it. But you don't have to stop everything at once. See, what I work with is adding on more positivity and letting the body adopt to that so that everything else naturally leaves. That's why with all my clients, if they're not literally dying, we will transition so that your body will be able to take itself to the next level and the next level of health and the next level of health. And you'll be excited the whole way because you'll be the one noticing it and living it. So start every morning by bringing in two things. More hours before breakfast. Yes, breakfast is not the most important meal of the day. Meaning, it is the most important meal of the day in the sense that it's important what you eat as your first meal, but as a meal eaten early in the morning, it is a false belief. The longer you can stretch until you eat, the better. So, if you start with one thing, add more hours between your last meal of the night before and your first meal the day after. And second tip, start with a fresh juice. You can do either a pressed citrus juice, but it has to be made in your home, in my book. Fresh is absolutely best. It needs to be cold pressed and it needs to be your juice for your healthy body. So what would it typically be? Well, I love the citrus in the morning. So I do typically, you can do an orange, grapefruit, lemon juice. Powerful though, so go slow. Your body will love it, but so will, you know, its ability to cleanse. So contact me if you get a lot of symptoms from that. Now, you could also use a regular juicer, either a slow juicer or a centrifugal juicer, and you can juice a more typical green juice, like the couple of apples, four or five stalks of celery, one lemon, one large cucumber, and you can add some parsley. Um, I wouldn't recommend you added kale. You know, it's, it's very hard to digest. I would stay in the cucumber, apples. Uh, you can add lemon. You can even add, um, you know, a little bit of grapefruit to that. Um, the celery is great, which is actually an herb. It's not a, it's not a vegetables. So, yeah, and, and stay away from the root vegetables as much as you can. I would, especially in the morning. Very high in starchy sugar, and the fruits are so much better. Yeah, and simpler is also better. So if you just want a plain apple juice, have a plain apple juice. You want a plain orange juice, have a plain orange juice. But do that first. Then just wait for 20 minutes at least, 30 minutes. Let your body digest that. Let your body absorb it. Let your body shine from it and feel it yourself. And do, I would do between, well, do at least 16 ounces. I do 32 ounces in the morning. Drink it slowly and, and it's a meal. It's a meal in itself. So you could make it your breakfast. That, you know, and then next meal would be midday. So, namaste my friends. Uh, any comments below, always welcome. I love to interact with you. You can shoot me an email at any time. Hilda at inspiredbyhilda.com. Namaste.